Okay, so, new addition. I added a face camera. We're gonna see how this goes. You know, because all the big boys have face cams, right? All the big boys. And I, I wanna be a big boy. Anyway, um, we're going to play some dredge, as you can see, and it's gonna be a good time. And we're probably gonna get spooked. But that's what we're here for. We're here to enjoy it. We're here to have a good time. We're here to fish up something nasty because we always do. But before we start, I wanted to thank you for taking the time to check this out. I'm a relatively small channel right now, but every interaction helps. Every like helps. Every subscription helps. And it would help me help you enjoy more content if you went ahead and interacted with those options. Um, before we start as well, I wanted to show you my little beat. His name is Dwight, because of course, I have, I have this little guy and then I also have this guy. So anyway, we're a big fan of beats on this channel. Um, now for the content. Okay, we're going to continue our game. And in we go. All right. Okay, I want to sell these guys. Yeah, okay. I will take those. We're gonna undock and head across. Don't hit any rocks on our travels. There's that little boat over there. Stay away from me. Let's fish. Little squeeze! Bleeded. Okay. That's okay. It's okay. It's a little late, but it's okay. Trader? Yes. Very good. Let's head out across this way. Whoa! Oh, that was close. That was too close. Also, who's honking out there? Hmm. Nobody friendly, I'm sure. lighthouse keeper is waiting for you on the dock looking displeased I saw you sailing towards the horizon crossing that deep expanse do you really think that's wise why is it any of your business lighthouse keeper maybe this time you need to be more careful even you with all your experience cannot truly know the ocean nobody can abruptly she walks away her eyes scan the water as she walks along the dock Okay, ma'am. Go back to your lighthouse. Just keep it lit for me, okay? Please? Shh. Very good. I think I'd like... I'd like to do some research. Let's start researching these things. Because I think this does all of them. Yeah. So if we can get here, that would be ideal. Okay, let's rest, and then in the morning, we will take a look at the map. We have to head over to Stellar Basin, check out that area. I would like to go and explore around a little bit so that we can get some dredging done etc etc get a little bit in terms of money so that we can continue upgrading our boat and dredging would be extremely helpful right now so i think i might have to ooh, speak of the devil hey, there you are come here Watcha! Very good. 
do we have more? Yes! It's great news. I don't know if these are things that I need right now, but I imagine I will need them eventually. I think I can fit this. If I move some things around. Just scoop the shark over. Let's go and sell these. Engine or potentially. Ooh. Ooh. I almost have everything for this. I'm gonna sell this and purchase this. Lovely. We should be much, much speedier now. so much faster. Let's get a little bit of this dredging happening. Ooh, dredging makes you dizzy. Well, it's late. That's good news. Someone's after us. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh my gosh, what are you? Oh, it's an anglerfish. Oh, it scared the shit out of me. Oh, I saw the other one in the distance and I didn't even register that there could be another one. Well, I guess that's my fault. I guess that's my fault. Oh, my heart's racing. <laughs> okay, I have enough money to repair my hull. Very good. <laughs> Jeez. Nothing goes in there. Put these in my storage. Mm -hmm. Very good. Oh. <laughs> wow. That's what happens. That's what happens when you're out late at night. This is why, kids, your mom doesn't want you roaming the streets at night. The sea is at night. Jeez. Back here we go. What is that? A little boat. Are you friendly? You look, you look friendly. You pull up alongside a boat at anchor. There are signs of life on board, but nobody appears to greet you. Call out. Hello. I am a friend. Almost immediately, a small slot in the door snaps open. A pair of frantic eyes peer out at you. Who goes there? A monster. <laughs> A fisherman. What do you want? I was just checking to see if you were okay. Do I seem okay? No, I am very much not okay. I'm supposed to be delivering this package to Little Merrill, but I'm being stalked. Okay. A huge leviathan lurks in these deep waters. I've seen it. It hung in the water. It's gaping mouth just below the boat. Okay. It would have swallowed this vessel whole if I hadn't bolted for the shallows. I'm not going any further into the into this cursed island chain. I could deliver the package to Little Merrill for you. You would? Well, that would work, I guess. Rich package. It's dense, damp, and very sticky. Why are all the packages in this game soggy? 
The courier pushes a lumpy brown package through the door hole. It squelches slightly as you take it in your hands. Dark fluid oozes in one corner. That just, that doesn't sound good. Thank you, stranger. This is bound for the dock worker at Little Marrow. I'm not sure what's inside, but listen, I know this sounds crazy. Sometimes I think I can hear the faintest of whispers coming from it. Now, I'm not supposed to be transporting live goods. Don't have the equipment for it. So, just be careful with this thing, whatever it is. Here, why don't you take this too? Again, an item emerge. Again, an item emerges from the door hole. This time, a book is pushed through and thuds onto the deck below. You pick it up. I'll be on my way whenever the coast is clear. Safe travels. Where are we on the map then? How have I not seen this before? Okay, I guess it is kind of out of the way. That's where we brought the, the materials for building that house. Ooh. Storms a brewing, boys. We best be on our way then. What else is over here? Let's get this too. Mm -hmm. A. Something else over here as well. Right. A couple of things. There's nothing I love more. Yeah, I found some junk. Dock worker. How's the day treating ya? I've got a package here for you. A delivery, eh? Oh, it's a big one. Let me see. He takes the large package and examines it gently with his hands. He lifts it to one ear and listens for a while. He seems satisfied. Much appreciated, friend. Now if you'll excuse me, wish me luck. He turns and hurries off down the dock without another word to you or compensation. should head back to let's read this we should head back to the gale cliffs because I imagine there's some more stuff for us over there Whee! so speedy oh have I caught you yet? I don't think so didn't expect it to be that large. Nice. Good stuff. I was worried I was gonna have to leave it behind. Just yanked this, yanked this large boy out of the ocean and I can't do anything with him? Okay, well then just leave him alone. Oh, that guy. 
Let's research this one. Ooh, let's sell this. And let's install this. Purchase that. I haven't done much in terms of fishing around here, so... Tiger mackerel. I haven't caught either of those yet. A research part? Yeah! I did not expect to get that. Thrilled. Thrilled 10 out of 10. Love this game. Just keep dredging. Just keep dredging. Just keep dredging. 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 What do you get? We don't know because we're dredging for it still. Search this. Okay, I need one more wood. And I need the metal salvage. This is how I wanted to check out. A pile of loose debris could be cleared to make a shortcut. Use explosives. Yep. This is what we need. Now I don't have to spend five hundred dollars. Nice. Well, let's see if we can turn back around. No, thank you. No, thank you, fog. this directly in here. And then let's rest. I think over here we have a little bit more wood. Mm hmm there it is. because I'm such a bad fisherman that I always run out of the stock that exists anywhere because I I wait until I'm comfortable to click the green thing I don't click it right away oh where is he I heard I read that you could go in here can you come in here no haha <laughs> Chest sits atop a pile of rubble in the back of the cave. Look inside. Oh, 
nice. Solid. Are you... Oh, is that an oarfish? Yeah, I don't have the right fishing equipment for this spot. Ocean perch. Cute. Oh. Less cute. Gnashing perch. Okay. I thought it was close by to the merchant over here. I guess not. Where's my map? Nope. Not even close. Not anywhere close to the merchant. Okay. Let's find our way back. <sighs> A rock does not exist there. Okay, little guys. I don't have any research parts. This is where I want to be. Okay, now I don't have enough money for it, and that's okay. Put you in storage, you in storage, storage, storage. Very good. And we will rest. <sighs> okay. One oh, more pursuit. Yeah, the rotting conger eel. At night time, so I think I'll do a little bit of fishing then. little guy. So these the ocean perch again. All right. Nice. We'll sell those again. I don't think I have space for you. I've got a surprise for you, a gift from my most loyal customer here, if you want. I want you to have this. Art of Silver Tongue. Oh, a book. Okay. Cool. Thanks! Alright, now. I think what we have to do, unfortunately, is head in here and try and catch a conger eel. Is it you? Gotta be. This is a shape that I haven't seen before. Oh no, he's coming. I don't know how many she wants though. Okay, let's go. Oh, 
someone right beside him. Oh shit. No, no, no. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. That was close. That was too close for comfort. Oh, I didn't have to go in? Well, that would have been nice to know. No thank you, no thank you. I would like to keep my light on, thanks so much. Okay. Where the fuck am I? Okay, all right. I've identified our location. Oh. <laughs> no. Something slithers into your cargo hold. Bell resident. What is it? Here's the age congre eel you asked for. Perfect. This will do wonderfully. I can offer you a small sum. Thanks. 150 bucks. That means we get our new hull. Yahoo! Okay, I'm gonna sleep first though. I don't wanna. I don't wanna do that shit again. All right. Go. What do I hear? Spooky man, spooky serpent boy. Okay, let's sell this guy. And let's purchase this. Additional slots configured. What does it look like? No research cards. Extra space! That's awesome. That's great news. And I get uh, I get an extra life. Thank God. <laughs> okay. That's done. I think we will head back towards Greater Marrow. Ow. These oceans are a rockin'. Catch a couple fishies along the way, maybe. Alright. Little marrow, a storage here. You up, and pick you up, and pick you up. So trader. Yep. And I'll do the same thing here. $150, that's awesome. Come back with more. Ooh, that's a new one. Voltaic. Huh. Zappy boy. Zip, zip, zap.
Okay. I think we should aim... We should get a net, at least. One net. Because... I mean, I haven't really explored the net yet. We'll sleep. Let's head to Stellar Basin. This way, I presume. Oh, what's over here? I haven't looked at this yet. Lots of stuff. Oh, that'll give me my upgrade. Search part, Yahoo! <coughs> wow. Okay. And it's dark. Let's let's just head back this way because we know that we are okay to go this way. Leave me alone. You also leave me alone. No, no. Uh-uh. No, I fell for your shit once. I'm not falling for it again. I'm not doing it. Leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. There are rocks everywhere. No. little guy sleazy nah -uh. I'm not playing that game the mayor appears in front of you at the dock his face swims before your eyes and his words blur with the waves crashing around you are okay if see fog shapes rest careful nightmares this whole adventure is a nightmare you stumble past him into town okay I'm eating fish for you I'm sorry do have a research part that I will deal with when I wake up, I guess. Okay. I want this. I need four more research parts in order to get this. Alright. Tribute. Okay, I don't need that. I need one of you. Okay. So I need one more refined metal. And four wood. distracted exploring one of the islands. What can you expect from me? Was that a message in a bottle over there? What is this? 
What is this? That came at me so much faster than I expected it to. Okay. Um, September 14th, 1927. I've not written in a few days. I have been afflicted with some strange chill which conspires to fog my brain. I cannot seem to keep warm no matter what I do. The ink has run from some lines here and there and they're illegible. While most of what they hauled up was junk, they eventually came up with a large wooden casket. A hush came over the crew as at such a tantalizing discovery. I remember the next moments with excruciating clarity. He pried it open easily. The buckling boards cracked and groaned with relief as they splintered apart. Crimson cloth spilled out onto the deck. The crashing waves rose to fill my ears. I hear them still. He stared down into the open casket, then turned to me. In his eyes, I saw the void. Huh. Aiden? is in ruins with equipment and research papers strewn about the place. Where do you want to look? Open the cupboards. You check the cupboards. Research part! Research part! You empty the cupboards. Where do you want to look? Inspect the equipment table. There are some strange looking prototype parts on the table, but you can't see any use for them right now. On the other side of the table, you find a hastily scrawled note. It reads, not safe. Expect retaliation imminently. Evacuating to fort. Where do you want to look? You look around the floor. There are cracks at the base of the structure that grow to that grow to large gas, gashes as you follow them along the walls. Something extremely large and powerful created these holes. You slowly reach your arm into one. Another research bot. You pluck an item from a gouge on the floor. Where do you want to look? Leave. Generator. An old generator sputters and ticks over. Okay, research. These guys. Both of them. Oh. Are those moving? What is that? Whatever it is, it's a no for me. I'm gonna go around instead. Ooh, a barracuda. Oh, a barracuda. I like this fishing one. Okay. What's that? What's this? I have so many questions. This is such a cool area. The bioluminescence are so neat. I bet you hear. I guess it doesn't really make a difference, does it? I think I can catch one more. What's that called? A Medusa octopus? <laughs> <laughs> it's great. What's that? Is that a jellyfish? Do they hurt me? Is that why they're pink? Again, so many questions. Oh. Traveling merchant. Okay. Uh. Let's sell all of these. sleep. Okay. I'll be on my way. Continue looking around. Uh, 
suppose that maybe that's the fort? Yeah, that must be. my own fault. Just bad at it. It's something. Old Fortress. Researcher. Oh, um, hello. I wasn't expecting visitors. Who are you? I'm a fisherman. Ah yes, I thought you had the look, but a fisherman's- but a fisherman all the way out here? Strange. Ah, I feel strange about it too. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you all the same. I've not seen another soul in months. In fact, I could do with your help if you had the time. Y'all are always asking me for help, and I always say yes because I got the time. I need help collecting samples to study. I was originally posted at the research outpost on the ex interior of the basin, but it was attacked. <sighs> A large creature emerged from the depths and destroyed the outpost. Now it rests in the center of the basin. Oh, is it like maybe like a kraken? I fled here and have been making do as I be as best I can, but I had to leave most of my equipment behind. So now my research has come to a halt. Take a look at the list of specimens I need. Please drop them off here. You might need to experiment with different different fishing strategies to collect all of them. Jellyfish. Fireplace quick. Oh, shoot. I had glowing octopus. Okay. Is there anything else about the specimens you're after? Take a look. Okay. Yeah. Tell me about yourself. Uh, okay. I don't think there's much to say. I studied biological sciences at Iron Haven College. It was a struggle. There were no other female students in the department that year, or the year before, or the year before that. Oh. Must have been a little lonely. It's hard not to feel like an outsider in an environment like that, you know? You probably don't. When I graduated, I managed to land a job at the Northern Biological Research Society, and then, well, I was posted here, by myself. I actually do know a little bit. I studied video game development, so there weren't very many women in that. I thought I would relish the peace and quiet, but I miss having company. I've always had someone, or at least a pet, out here. It's just machines. Is there anything else? What sort of creature attacked you? Well, I got the sense that it was attacking the research outpost itself rather than me specifically. I suspect it was disturbed by some of my monitoring equipment. There were dozens of machines running there, all powered by a noisy generator. It was huge, larger than any other marine species I've ever studied. It attacked with tentacles, so I guessed at some so I guessed at some sort of octopus or squid or anemone. One of my research vessels was moored around the back of the station, so I managed to slip away in that while it was tearing apart the front. Cool. There was a lot of valuable data and equipment left there, but I'm not going back. I can't I won't face it again. Is there anything else? Have you noticed anything else unusual? Now that you mention it, I've been so preoccupied with the attack and having to rebuild here, I'd almost forgotten. I found these letters from my sister. She sent them to me while I was studying before, before she... The researcher is quiet for a moment and stares off to the side. Anyway, I kept finding them amongst my papers. I don't remember packing them, but I must have. I started finding them more frequently. They turned up in my collection nets, in my sampling tubes. There were letters I'd never seen before, but they were in her writing, they were in her name. They were saying things, talking about things that happened after she died. I can't explain it. Is there anything else? Weird. That's really interesting. Um, okay, I'll put these things in storage. There is a dog. All right, all right, doggo, where are you? Is that another message in a bottle? Read that one later. I want to find this dog.
Brave slap at a pile of flotsam collecting on the beach nestled in the center is a wooden chest. Ooh. A map, mayhaps? Must be the little octopus. Firefly squid. It's so cute! Oh, I don't say that about any of the creatures in this game because they're all nasty. But this one is adorable. I'll just have to find some more in the morning then. Those more? No, that's something else. I would like to find squeeds. Some little So many noises happening, man. What is this? Ooh, funky. Oh man, that's large. Please tell me I don't have to like fight it or anything, because this looks like a boss arena. I don't think there's fighting like that. Maybe, probably not this early. There's a dog. There's totally a dog. Beep, beep, beep. I hear you, pupper. I'm coming. Do you think we're gonna be able to give it to her? Oh, then she wouldn't be so lonely. That would be so sweet. she wanted. I should be able to fit this octopus. Look at him. He looks so blissed out. He's so funny. Where is that way? Okay, let's go this way. Start by sleeping. I have one for you. Very good. No, nothing. Storage. Good. Oh wait, I wanted to put this in here as well. There's gonna be another little piece then. Oh, hold on. That. Make sure that is. Okay. So there's something over there. 
gotta be over here, no? This little good boy. Where's the good boy? The heck is this? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. <gasps> Say hi to you anyway. Oh, oh, there he is. Hello, good boy. There's a skinny brown dog leaping around in the shallows. Occasionally, it lunges at the water, snapping at some small silvery fish. Its technique is inefficient. <laughs> you jump off the boat into thigh high water. The dog stops chasing fish and focuses on you. Throw some fish, throw some scraps into the water near the dog. It pounces at the splash and swallows seawater. <laughs> Slowly approach. You wade towards the shore. As you get nearer, the dog backs up a little ways it sits. Let's give him some more fish. The dog eats them along with a mouthful of sand. <laughs> Call for the dog. Stopping, but it stops just outside of, out of your reach. Hold some fish in your hand. You hold out some fish scraps in the palm of your hand. The dog approaches slowly, but soon begins licking at them. Pat the doggo. You reach out and gently pat the dog. Its eyes follow your hand, and it seems to understand you're not a threat. Pat the dog again. Seems to be enjoying it. I'm also enjoying it. Pat the dog again. You pat the dog again. It seems to be enjoying it. One more pat. More pat. Leave. You stop and turn around. The dog is standing a few paces behind you. It tilts its head questioningly. Let it follow you. You continue, this time with the dog alongside. Its tail is wagging so hard it beats the water into a froth behind it. Oh, when you get in the boat, you turn around and pull the dog on board. Look at that little baby. Oh, I'll put you beside the fish. Put the dog onto deck. It walks around briefly before curling into a ball and looking up at you. Maybe you could find this dog a more permanent home. Yes, we can give it to her. You, her, the doggo. Researcher. Hello again, what do you need? This dog needs a home. Do you want it? A dog? Oh gosh, let me see. The dog bounds over to the researcher. She crouches down to pet the dog, grinning. The dog licks her chin in response. <laughs> I could definitely take this one off your hands, and I'd love the company. Are you sure? Yes, you should take the dog. Dog removed from the inventory. Yes, thank you. Oh, we're going to be such good friends. He can be my assistant. That is adorable. Suddenly, the dog stands upright and begins to retch, its stomach heaving. Probably seasick. Same. And also, you put a lot of sand in your belly. Seconds later, it vomits a wet glob onto the floor. Something glistens through the mucus. Oh, um, that's interesting. I suppose it's yours if you want it. <laughs> it's a ring. Okay. I can clean the rest up. Don't worry about it. Okay. Send you to storage. Oh. Let's get rid of that. Okay, I think I'm going to end this episode here. We made a lot of really good progress on our research, on our nets and our fishing rods. We upgraded our hull, we got a doggo, a happy little home, and we have begun our search for the next relic on our list of things to find. I am so thrilled that we've gotten some more progress done and that we've gotten this far. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe even so that you don't miss any other ones, and so that you can continue having a lot of fun alongside me. Thanks so much. See you next time.